In this video, we are going to learn about the binomial probability density function, which you can find on your TI calculators and use to help figure out binomial distribution probabilities. On your calculator, the function looks like this, binom PDF, but what it stands for is binomial, for the binomial distribution, probability, density function. So on your calculator, this is a function because what you can do is tell it the number of trials in your experiment, the probability of success, and how many uh, successes you want, and it will tell you the probability of that happening. So in order to use this function, you need to know three things. You need to know the number of trials, you need to know the probability of success for each trial, and you also need to know the number of successes that you want to know the probability for. So for example, say you flipped a coin a hundred times and you want to know what's the probability that you will get exactly 40 heads. You could use the binomial probability density function to help you figure this out. Just a reminder, the binomial distribution is when for each event there's only two possible outcomes. So flipping a coin works because you either will get heads or you won't get heads. It has to be a situation where you either have a success or you have a failure. There's only two options in each of the trials. So let's see how this actually works. And we're going to test it out with what the situation I just described. A hundred trials of flipping a coin. The probability of success or probability of getting heads, which we'll think of as success, is 50%. It's a normal coin. And we're wondering what's the probability of having exactly 40 heads? So we want the number of successes to be 40. So we're trying to figure out what's the probability that x equals 40, where x is the number of heads, successes. So what we're going to do is go into the distribution menu, which you get to by pushing second and then variables. And you have to scroll down until you see this, binom PDF. There we go. And then click enter. And here we already see something filled in, which is what we're going to actually want. So your screen might have nothing filled in yet. Trials, we want 100 trials of flipping a coin. P stands for the probability of success, so that's 0.5. The X value is this, how many successes we want. So we want X to equal 40. And then we're just going to go down to paste. So once you've entered it in, click paste, and it plugs it in into your regular screen and just click enter and it will calculate it. And we get our probability. So the probability that the number of heads is exactly 40 is 0 0.0108. So that's only about 1%. Now that might seem really low, but keep in mind, we're not saying that we want up to 40 heads or something like that. We're saying exactly heads. You flip a coin 100 times and you get exactly 40 heads. So if you think about it that way, it should make sense that it's not actually that likely that you'll get exactly 40 heads. So that's how you can use the binomial probability density function button on your calculator to simplify these sorts of calculations and to speed up the process a bit.